kama utafunguka wakati wa Mungu umpata kila mtu wekuwa na subira andika haya kwenye shajara wakati wa Mungu ukikujilia mazingira si kitu yapinge wakati wa Mungu Good evening once again. Good evening. I thought you just enjoyed some, uh, you know, some bitings downstairs, and you have a little energy <laughs> to say good evening. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for for joining us today. We are happy that you could uh, make time to join us for this uh, occasion. It is a small one, but a very big one. <laughs> It is a small one, but a very big one, and uh, we are glad that you are part of you are part of it. So we are going to begin our our function, and uh, to get us started, I will uh, request us to be upstanding for a word of prayer. Uh, I don't know if we have Dr. Lucy uh, Lydia Moniki with us. Ah, great. Please kindly lead us in a word of prayer. Please, welcome to the front. Our dear loving God, our Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you this evening. We thank you so, so much for this day when we are gathered together to celebrate the, fourth, uh, the 40th anniversary of the Sako, Kanisa Sako. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for the fire you have brought us. We can only count blessings. You have taken us through valleys and mountains, but you have been with us. We thank you, Lord, for this occasion, this celebration. We invite you into our midst. We pray that you may honor us with your presence. Thank you for all those who have been able to come and others who may still be on the way. We pray that you may quicken their steps. So we pray all this believing and trusting in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you very much. Asante. Uh, please, you may be seated. Here today, and I would like to begin by thanking you, the members, for finding time to join us for this event. Secondly, I'd love to recognize, uh, in a very special way, uh, a special group of members who are among the pioneers that uh, started this circle. I will uh, request them to stand wherever they are so that we can, we can see and recognize them. Uh, yes, is that Mr. Mwangi? James Maina Mwangi. Great, thank you. A round of applause for Mr. Mwangi. Tafadali. Let me also recognize uh, all the staff of Kanisa Sako who are here with us today. Kindly stand so that we can see you, led by the CEO himself, Mr. Godfrey Mwangi. Also with us today, we have uh, uh, the members of the Board of Directors of Kanisa Sako. And uh, may I also request those who are present with us to, to stand so that we can see you. The Directors of the Sako, thank you very much. Uh, we have Sandra right there we have boniface to my right we have uh, joyce and then we have uh, richard 
And of course, we have our chairperson, Anne, who is here with us today. Thank you very much. People and employees of ACC, at that time, 1981, sat and uh, formed this great institution, Kanisa. The 18 of them, at that point, uh, made a deposit at the end of that financial year, 1981, of 200,000 and uh, a loan portfolio of 250,000. I'm imagining 1981, 200,000, 18 people. Do you realize how much that money was in terms of the worth or the value of that money? It means like an average of 20,000 per individual. 20,000 at that time, when the loaf of bread was, was it even five, not even five, but it was three shillings. So you can imagine the sacrifice that those people made at that time. I, I, I'm, I'm sure even most of you here were either toddlers or were not even born. So by 1991, 10 years later, the membership had grown to 109 with a total deposit of 1.5 million and a loan portfolio of 1.9. By two, 2001, 20 years later, the membership had now doubled from uh, 109 to 219 and the deposit for uh, at that time 22 million and a loan portfolio of 20 million. By the time they were employing the first uh, employees, uh, uh, the first employee, and after his time, uh, Dr. Soet already said he left Kanisa at the end of 2009. So in 2010, they reported a membership of 414 with a deposit of 83 million and a loan portfolio of 99 million. So you've seen the growth accelerated now after 2001 because of um, the liberalization of the cooperative sector in 2004 um, we the, the common board was broken and they allowed other individuals and other institutions to join the management team before we used to call them staff but now in the new under the new sasra regulations they are being referred to as the management team and it is the team that is being led by our ceo he has asked them to stand it's because of their effort and their commitment that we are here today the work that they do in the office as as directors we come sometimes to to provide the oversight that is needed but the staff are there from morning to evening we recognize the hard work that they do their commitment and their dedication especially for the last four decades including the former staff mr soet now dr soet when he joined the circle he was a minister but we're happy that this far he has grown he's now a doctor distinguished ladies and gentlemen and thank you all for honoring our invitation and coming to these celebrations. We know that today would not have been successful if you had not come. We are all being followed even in social media. We thank even our members who are listening to us even on social media for their support also and for their patronage. Going forward, we know that the responsibility bestowed upon us is greater. We want to assure our members that we're going to continue implementing our strategic plan, which we, we are implementing to spur growth in our society. And to achieve this, we are counting on all of you, our members, our service providers, even our strategic partners, that together we are going to grow our circle to make it stronger and even to make it the leading circle in the industry. Let us all work together to ensure that our products and services continue to enable meaningful and rewarding success for all our members. I will, and gentlemen, distinguished guests, it's my honor and privilege to invite our guest of honor. May we all be upstanding to welcome Mrs. Lucy Kimani to the podium to address us. Loan portfolio of 348.8 million, million and loan portfolio of 348.8 million. The 40 years in existence 
is a milestone attributed to visionary leadership, committed and hardworking staff, and members, members' loyalty and good networking with other stakeholders in the field. Some of the stakeholders are here. We have the CoBank, CIC, Cusco, and our cooperative department. You've been able to work, to, to work with us well. Because when you work well with these, some of these stakeholders, you are able to get more information about what is ha happening around you. And that is why I'm sure you've been able to move this far. The licensing of the SACO by the Society Regulatory Authority is a recent success. It was given this license early this year as a regulated non-depositing taking SACO. And this will immensely accelerate its business growth, including reaching to Kenyans, more Kenyans in the diaspora. SASRA plays a vital role in ensuring that the SACO meets the minimum set credential standards, which revolves around its core capital, liquidity, system and structures, and human resource. The CEO has already told us that the, uh, Kanisa SACO, all the staff, or the management team, they are all graduates. So you have really prepared, strategized yourself for success. To obtain the license, Kanisa SACO must have met or was close to the minimum set prudential standards. The regulation is meant to safeguard members' funds. I was sharing with the chair lady there and I told her I had an experience one time with one society. Wara eh? You know, when they say like they're in a cave, eh? It's like they don't interact with us others outside there. You know, it was a requirement for every society to pass a special res it was a resolution eh, in a special general meeting or AGM to be regulated by SASRA. I'm the one who was in attendance there. And they said they don't want to be regulated. I told them, <laughs> once you are above 100 million in form of deposits, you have to be regulated by, Sasra. by Sasra. They told me, and they were very serious. I think they had a, I think they had a meeting, an uh, informal meeting somewhere before that. They said, what you are going to do, because you are above 100 million, we are going to have our members withdraw, so that some of the members withdraw, so that we fall below 100 million. I don't know who had told them Sasra is a monster. <laughs> Somebody may, must, must have misled them. And I'm telling you, they refused. They refused to pass a resolution to be regulated by Sasra. And of, and of course, what will happen, if they don't go below that 100, they'll just be deregistered. For the circle to, to remain competitive and sustain its market share, there is need for board and management team to continue developing marketing strategies informed by that research and investment in modern technology. We will be with you up the mountains and down there, down the valley. So for me now is to wish you long life and let's celebrate. Thank you. Kindly hold the knife. Please go ahead. A round of applause, everyone. Woo! Come on, you guys, you've eaten. Let's. Yeah. Nice. Well done. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Without these people, we would not be celebrating tonight, right? Yeah. So let's be happy. Let's celebrate this occasion in style. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you.